guys so since I'm up here I just thought I'd give you like a nice little spin around and let you appreciate this outfit as I like actually introduce it to you because I'm sorry but I'm in love with this like Damn! <laughs> um hey guys <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Janelle Corinne, and I am here with a, you guessed it, latex try-on video. Now, um, you guys, since I started the channel, and obviously it's a brand new channel, this is like a whole new journey for me, you know, introducing you guys to my life and letting you see my filmmaking journey and letting you see some of my interests and my love for latex and all things shiny and all things fashion um this has definitely been like a journey you know kind of opening myself up this way but thus far in the past couple weeks posting content for you guys and i love that you've been commenting on the videos i love that you've been subscribing to the channel thank you so much I've, each and every one of my subscribers sending kisses all to you and please if you haven't already subscribed to my channel definitely like comment and subscribe on this channel um turn on notifications i'm gonna try to start dropping videos twice a week yeah <laughs> that's right because i know you guys absolutely cannot resist and not only do you need more of me i mean i think you need more latex don't you i mean i know i do <laughs> I just, I'm getting distracted like looking at how shiny I am. That's why like I started the video and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do all this stuff. And then I was like, wait guys, look at how shiny my butt is. <laughs> I am just absolutely in love. So, okay guys, what I'm introducing to you for today's latex try on and I do kind of have a theme for today's video. Now, I know, um, I have thus far done a comparison video, PVC versus latex. Um, I do own some PVC items, but I will be honest with you guys, I love latex. <laughs> I love latex. I'm weak for latex. I just think it's, it, it's a whole full body experience when you are wearing latex versus wearing PVC. PVC will give you the look. That you're that you're looking for or the look that you're going for but only latex will give you that feeling that snugness that you know skin tight body hold and that feeling that you are wearing something special today you know that's how I felt that's why I've been so like excited and I've been like twisting <laughs> and turning <laughs> and show you guys every single angle because Actually, I'm gonna show you this angle too. Why not? Let's do this now. So, <laughs> I'm just so in love with this cat suit. <laughs> what was that like Oprah meme where she's like, and you get a car, and you get a car, and you get latex, and you get PVC, and you get shiny leggings, and you get a super hot try on video. You all do. <laughs> yes, yes. So um, the reason why I'm so excited about this video and why I'm twisting and turning and showing you guys every single angle and you know letting you appreciate all the different parts of the outfit and don't you worry I will get up and move around and twist my body around and let you see all the different dimensions of the outfit in just a moment. Um, but why I'm so pumped about this is because I try to do these like themes with each of the try on videos and particularly with the latex videos because I think so many people love looking at latex. I know I was like this when I first got interested in latex fashion. Um, I was loving looking at the material at home, right? Like it was so much fun for me to look at latex videos and to see just the look and the shine or latex fashion photography. Oh my god. God, I always love that. I always love looking at pictures like that on Pinterest or on Tumblr. If you guys like photography like that, by the way, please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, 
Um, obviously YouTube, we spoke about that. Subscribe, like, and comment. Um, where else am I at? Oh, oh my God, OnlyFans.com slash Filmmaker Corinne. That's where you find all my hottest, shiny content. So if you love latex or PVC as much as I do, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my OnlyFans.com slash Filmmaker Corinne page. Not only are you gonna see way hotter videos than I can show you on YouTube, which you know it's good because these are already pretty hot. <laughs> But also, you'll get some sneak peeks as to my latest um, latex short film, my first short film actually, um, all the progress that's going on with it, and the first drop once that movie releases. So if you want to watch any of the latex short films that I'm working on, any of the late, I am also working on a feature film, guys, don't you worry, it just takes a little bit longer, <laughs> a lot longer, what am I saying? than you know some of these other things but if you love latex as much as i do latex fashion and film then definitely subscribe to onlyfans.com slash filmmaker corinne so i love latex fashion love latex photography love all of it i don't think i bought my first latex item like actually owned something of mine latex until maybe god like six six years ago yeah so with that in mind you know even though quite a few people um, love latex online, love the look at latex, love to you know indulge in sexy latex fashion, love to see different styles and different materials, so on and so forth, what I've come to realize is that for quite a few people, you know, latex will always maybe be a fascination, but for quite a few people, they're beginners to latex. You know, I'm sure, I would love to know actually, you know, comment down below, um, how many of you at home are beginners to latex? Have, how much, you know what I would also be curious about? I was thinking about this today. How much latex do you actually have in your closet? Like what's, what, what makes you, like how much latex do you have to own to be like like a latex fetishist or something <laughs> or something wild like that you know what it like how is it like going from like okay i just bought this one outfit for a party to i'm kim kardashian and literally every single dress legging everything is skin tight latex clinging on my butt <laughs> you know what's the discrepancy so I was thinking about this earlier. I definitely do have um, a fair amount of latex in my closet, probably more than the average person, right? I mean, I think that the average person probably has zero. <laughs> As we were just talking about, people love the look, but most people I think are total novices to latex. I probably have more in the closet, but when I started this journey with you guys, I started posting videos for you guys, and I started to see what were the fashion vids that you liked the most? What were the try-on videos that you guys liked the most? Um, it started to give me a perspective as to, you know, what is it exactly that you guys love and what is it exactly that you guys love in particular about latex. So um, I came to realize that, you know, I was shooting these shiny lighting videos and I was like, okay, this is great. Um, I'm trying to make them a little bit educational. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making them educational, right? <laughs> Pay attention to teacher. <laughs> Sorry, there's an alarm outside because I'm so fucking hot in this latex outfit. Damn! <laughs> oh my god, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. I just wanted to pass by so we could continue talking. Basically, I was shooting these latex try-on videos for you guys. And um, I tried to give them themes each time because I realized that, again, many of you are novices to latex and, you know, just needed a, a ways and a means to kind of learn more about the material, to learn more about how you can actually wear the material, and also um, start to differentiate between materials that look like latex but aren't, right? So I love PVC, by the way. That's no shade on PVC. It has its time and place. Go back and watch that PVC versus latex video that I dropped a couple weeks ago in case you guys are wondering should I pick PVC or should I pick latex? Um, but I, I've been making these videos. I'm trying to like give you themes that you guys could like learn something off of. It's not just like, you know, like fashion porn. <laughs> it's not just like fashion. It's not, you know, I wanted to make it, give it some depth, right? Give it a little bit of depth. I 
was giving you these themes. I did the latex versus PVC video. I did the red PVC latex try on video. Um, or no, the red P, it was just PVC for that video. Also go check that out in case you're very curious about PVC and you'd like to see some different colors that they have available in that material, as well as one of my favorite brands for PVC. Great way to, you know, stay in touch with all these videos, just subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. You could also see more on OnlyFans. That's onlyfans.com slash filmmakercorin. So I was doing these videos and I, I knew, okay, so I was like, all right, I want to do a theme for this week's video, and I wanted to do the theme, now, I'm going to preface this by saying, I have not worn this outfit yet, this is, you're seeing it for the first time, I'm, I'm going to like open it up so you guys can like appreciate, you're seeing it for the first time, I'm seeing it for the first time, and let me tell you, I am just absolutely in love as i said from the beginning of the video i love this outfit so and this is a first for me in many different ways because i've never worn this color of latex before and i've been very very curious about all the translucent shades so this is just doing it for me um <laughs> today is a good day so okay the point of this latex being you know a translucent shade of latex that's not really the purpose of this video. I'm not comparing different types of translucent latex. Although, if you would like to see me um, do like some latex comparison videos featuring, you know, translucent latex colors or unusual latex colors, because I realize that it's very difficult to find latex reference imagery that shows you what it's going to look like on a darker complexion. That's probably my biggest complaint with like the, the latex community you know we need more just different people different faces different expressions in latex because lots of people love latex and we want to know what it's gonna look like when we order it too right so definitely um, if you guys would like to see me do that then probably the best way to set that up would be for you guys to head over to my wish list which by the way if you didn't know anytime you get something from my wish list I shout you out in my video um, you have a chance to win free custom pictures or a free five-minute custom video in that outfit and we play a little fun game you spin a wheel to win your prizes you're gonna love all of it. So um, the wish list is in my description box. Tap the description box below to find the link for my wish list. Thank you, God, I finished that sentence. Um, <laughs> praise, praise. You can find the wish list there, and as I said, I would be happy to try on any color, any material you guys are interested in me modeling for you. So the theme for this video, though, back to the like main point. The theme for this video was not to produce a translucent video or anything like that. I wanted to, because I love latex fashion, like, you know, my interest in fashion, hot couture, um, designer, luxury, that's what originally kind of introduced me to the fabric. So for me, I mean, I know that there's a lot of different variants in terms of how people like to enjoy latex. Um, some people definitely like to use it in the bedroom for play. Um, that's something that I can totally understand why. I mean, the material is extremely sexy. <laughs> extremely sexy and feels great to touch, so I'm sure people have a lot of fun with it. But um, I was coming from it from a fashion lens, and so with that in mind, I know that the cat suit is the big like everything, right, in terms of um, latex fashion. You gotta have a cat suit. When I was thinking about my latex wardrobe, how much latex do I own, you know, whatever, I felt like I have a lot of latex, but I didn't feel like my wardrobe was complete because I didn't feel as though I had enough latex cat suits. I had a lot of sexy party dresses. As I said, I like the fashion side of things. So I had a lot of sexy party dresses, but I didn't really have any any cat suits because you know for me i mean when i was seeing that a lot of times i was seeing it in a very fetishy context which i like too by the way but you know i always try to hit it from a as i said luxury designer a high-end angle and that fa that fetish look absolutely can be high-end but it's not every single context right so i was like damn okay well People love the cat suits, but how could we like elevate the cat suit, the latex cat suit? 
and make it a little bit more contemporary. And I also, with these latex PVC, all the shiny videos that I've been posting for you guys, one of my favorite things to do with them is to show you how you can wear these materials on an everyday basis, just like outside the house. Um, because I think that, you know, that's kind of the joy of it. Like, why would you want to buy this material and then you're not even able to take it out the house, you know? So, um, I was like, well, the latex catsuit, which I will be trying on later on in the video. Basically, what we're going to be doing today for today's video is a comparison between a traditional suit made out of latex. So that is, that is pretty unique, right? Because typically people just get this like full body almost like a leotard or like a it just covers your entire body you will see later on the video so stay watching if you want to see me wear that latex cat suit i was like well why don't we try using a traditional suit making it out of latex and seeing how it goes you know seeing if it's as sexy a look as the traditional latex catsuit and moreover if it's a look that could be used for everyday fashion for this particular outfit i actually ordered everything on um libidex which i know many of you that are in uk that love latex and are not new to latex will um, definitely know all about Libidex. They are really great for almost basics, but not really. They almost have like everything. They're a great beginner's place to start. If you're new to latex and you just wanna get some high quality items that are gonna fit good in any color that you want and a great, a great variety of different items to look at, go straight to Libidex. They're fantastic. Both of these items are from Libidex. Um, I'm wearing their chic leggings. Um, as well as their Marlene jacket. And both of these items are in the color translucent smoky black. Now, as I just mentioned um, a little bit earlier on, oh, and if you guys want the links for these, literally exactly what I'm wearing, tap the description box below. You will find the links for my Poshmark store where you can buy all of the outfits that I model, like everything on sale at a discount, discount designer luxury go to my Poshmark store. If you guys wanna see me in more hotter latex, go to onlyfans.com slash filmmakercorin. And if you guys like my nails and you wanna run like amazing free nail products, then go to illuminatibyjc.com. Basically, just, you see that like link Janelle Corin in the like the corner of the screen or whatever, just go there, cause that has all my links, okay? <laughs> but if you guys, again, are trying to pick up this outfit that I'm wearing currently, Tap the description box below, you'll be able to find everything in my Poshmark store. I picked up this item, I picked it up in translucent smoky black, which as I told you guys, I was really pumped. I really wanted to see what it was going to look like on me because I love, I love translucent smoky black latex on lighter complexions, but I've tried translucent latex before. I've tried semi-trans like purple and it's looked really good on me, I'm not going to lie. That, that was hot. I love that dress. I don't know where, where it is though. It might be in New York. I don't know. I gotta think about where it, that's probably the first latex item I ever bought. So I'm trying to remember where I put it. That looked really great on me, but you know, purple is not, I, I try to stick to theme if you guys didn't notice with my colors. <laughs> I always coordinate. Yeah, so purple's not really in the color range. Sorry, purple. I've tried semi-trans blue with, or yeah, semi-trans blue which um, I found to be really sexy, but my issue with it is that I didn't feel as though it was translucent enough for me to get any, anything out of it, really. It was just blue. Like the semi-trans colors or a lot of the translucent latex colors, they just look like the color that they are on me. Like it doesn't really do anything. But I really wanted to try the translucent smoky black, and so that's why I ordered this full suit set in translucent smoky black and I gotta tell you guys I absolutely love it I'm gonna get up and I'm also going to um, get up and really fully model it but just you know for now I just want to give you an opportunity to kind of appreciate some of the details of this outfit so first and foremost as you can see and I'm gonna show you from the back um, what I love about these leggings is that they have a really sexy design, um, almost like a, like a panty, 
or almost like a pantyhose. Can you guys see that? Yeah, can you guys see that? They have a really sexy design, almost like a panty or like a pantyhose. Very, very sexy, right? I love this, like the little, as I said, the little pantyhose kind of legging vibe that comes with these chic leggings from Libidex. And guess what? In case you guys were wondering, yes, that super sexy panty design goes all the way around straight through to the butt, which is just absolutely amazing. And I mean, just looks absolutely to die for, doesn't it? Now, if you guys also haven't noticed, there are three zippers. It's a, I ordered, um, and you can customize your stuff almost like a lot with Libidex, which is amazing because it's not like a, it's, it's made to order, but it's not custom made. It's not tailor made. Like the sizes are what the sizes are, but yet you can customize if you want the leggings to have feet. I wanted to have my feet out just to have it a little bit easier to put on. You can customize whether or not the leggings have feet. You can customize um, the zippers on these leggings. So if you guys did not notice, um, the zippers on these leggings are up the front and all the way through the back such that I can actually um, unzip the legging through, you know, through the back just for easy access. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that zipper right in there so you guys can see. Yeah. So, um, love the chic leggings. They look so good. And and what I think is really sexy because we're talking about the color and we're talking about the translucent smoky black the cat suit that I'm gonna be wearing later on in this video is in a traditional black latex but with um, some bright yellow piping very very sexy has a really kill bill sort of vibe um, this is translucent smoky black and this is what it looks like on my skin complexion so the piping on this legging is actually in black and I'm also wearing a pair of black underwear underneath it and so you can actually tell that it is somewhat translucent it is somewhat you are getting some of the brownness of my complexion through the legging actually and I think that's just like really nice it just looks really really good to talk a little bit more about the suit jacket and then um, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to just see me model the outfit fully Let's talk a little bit more about the suit jacket also the trim in this jacket the lapels are in traditional black latex um it has three buttons in the front i'm actually not wearing sorry if i get up and you can't see it i'm actually not wearing maybe that's better i'm actually not wearing a bra with this dinner jacket but um and it's interestingly enough it's the same color as this but i guess because the leggings are so tight on my legs you this looks more like brown like you get the brown notes the brown undertone here whereas with this this just feels very typical translucent smoky black i also think that the latex here might be a little thicker than here just because maybe what they needed to produce the jacket and give it that nice fit um it's fit perfectly by the way and as i said i'm not wearing a bra but it still holds everything in very nicely it looks very elegant and looks perfectly sexy without the bra right so i absolutely love that there's three buttons right here um there's also some buttons on the cuff as well so you know there's a lot of style to this jacket which is absolutely so cool and i mean i've just been in love with it i'm absolutely in love with the outfit so um i'm going to model this for you guys now i'm gonna put it on well i already have it on but i'm gonna walk around in the room and let you guys see what it looks like and then um yeah why don't you tell me what is your preferred between this catsuit and the traditional latex catsuit that i'm gonna put on in just a moment so wait a second let me model this for you guys and then i'll be back with that brand new outfit
and a comparison between a traditional suit versus your super sexy latex catsuit. If you guys really enjoyed this try-on video and would like for me to do more latex videos, please comment down below so I know what you guys like. Also subscribe, also like, also turn on notifications, and most importantly, follow me on OnlyFans.com slash FilmmakerCorinne for even hotter latex content. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk soon.